It's early in the season, but so far so good for the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Two games, two blowout wins. Well, looking for the same tonight against a team that gave them an overtime scare just two years ago. North Dakota, the Fighting Hawks. Well, big size advantage for the Zags tonight. They take advantage of it in the first half. Philip Petrushev doing work on the block. Nice little baby hook. That gives the Zags the lead. And yeah, they'd extend it quite a bit tonight. More work underneath this time at Spokane's own Anton Watson. Zags up big at the half. We take it to the second half, and it's pretty much the same story. North Dakota double teams Petrushev, so he finds Watson for the jam. He had 15 tonight. And even when things weren't working, they worked. Watson, no. Kispert, yes. Corey Kispert on the tip jam. Bulldogs starting to pull away. They get it down low to the man with the dad game. Drew Timmy, like the old man in the driveway, finding angles and using hook shots. And then they're going to put it away. Corey Kispert, another big game for the Zags. Three ball from the corner here. They close it out early. He had 20 points. Six Zags and double figures tonight. They roll 97-66. Actually, the first game of the three. They didn't score 100 points, but Mark Few happy with the effort he saw with his team on defense. We did some nice things uh, uh, on the defensive end, especially in the second half. Uh, you know, we we had literally no tape on those guys or uh, the game they played. They didn't run anything, any of the stuff really that they ran, and, and uh, we did a good job adjusting on the fly, and, and uh, you know had some nice performances, uh, especially the inside guys delivered. And Corey had a nice game, and, and uh, kind of were able to spread the scoring out. 